Alrighty, so this is implementation we did over inside of Zoho Analytics um, to essentially do a consolidated last touch report for tickets coming into Zoho Desk. Um, so I, ideally, really, the goal here was that our client wanted a good report to be able to identify, you know, for managers, tickets that had fallen outside of, you know, what we would expect for the most recent touch if that ticket is still open. Um, the tricky thing here is that that touch could be an email response in a thread, either to the client or from the client. It could be a comment on the ticket. It could be something like a completed task on the ticket, really any of the different touches that uh, represent for the client, like meaningful work on this ticket. So not just like an update to a field, right, where if you were to pull a report natively in desk and look at, you know, most recent activity, you know, updating a, the category on the ticket would count for that, but it really shouldn't because it's not a real touch where we're doing productive work. Um, so essentially what we had to do, build out some tables in, inside of Zoho Analytics. Um, so the comments on tickets do not come over natively. So we did have to write a function that will, you know, essentially each time a comment is made, write over to Zoho Analytics to store that comment there along with the ticket ID. Um, then we need to create some SQL tables to essentially union together all of these different data sets, whether it's the threads, whether it's the comments, the tasks, really anything that we want to count as a most recent touch. Um, so from there, we have this master table of every single trackable activity against that particular ticket and the date at which it happens. So last but not least, right, we can essentially use this new data set to create custom reports that look at tickets that are in certain outlier ranges, right? So maybe there's it's open, but there's been no touch in you know seven days, or maybe it's open and there's been a comment, but there hasn't been an email in the last fourteen days, right? So you can essentially just start to create these different you know potential issue categories, right, and then surface them selectively through you know custom reports on top of the data. So. Nice build. Big shout out to Andrew for plugging in and helping on this one. I think we're actually making a couple extra little tweaks to it here over the next week or so um, just to add even more functionality to it. Uh, but at the end of the day, right, this this high level goal and, you know, at a broader scope, this is a client that uses CRM, desk, projects, really everything. So it's just another report that allows their management team to have one landing page, right, where it's like a manager can open analytics, they can have their dashboard, and if anything's going wrong in CRM, projects, desk, anywhere, it's on that dashboard for them and they're able to take the appropriate action. Um, so big just consolidation of data, really, because lots of companies, this is particularly for like an IT service provider, they have employees that work on projects work and support work, right? Where this stuff is all split between multiple applications. And so yeah. to get this level of oversight, we, we oftentimes end up pulling into Zoho Analytics. Very, very nice. Nice job. That Tyler Colt guy. I'll tell you what. Yeah, out. he's got a good idea every now and then. Should listen to him. <laughs> Should. Nice job, Andrew, as well, of course. 